What's up guys, it's Tom with Ferris Engineering and today we're going to be installing your aluminum dipstick handle for your GT350. Alright, so uh, first step obviously, remove your dipstick from the car. Let's set that aside. Uh, I grabbed a block of wood because uh, when we go to install our nice uh, anodized dipstick handle, we don't want to scratch it on the vise. Uh, so I've got a, a block of wood in the vise and I just put a couple relief holes in there. What we want to do is uh, punch out this uh, roll pin, drift pin, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can also drill it out if you want. Um, I'm going to punch it out, but we do uh, supply a um, another roll pin if you want to drill this one out of the factory one. So let's get into it. I've got a... Uh, size is this uh, bu, bu, bu. three thirty seconds punch um, it's a little bit big I believe a 564 is the correct size so we've got the pin like halfway out I'm gonna try and basically pull this out with a pair of pliers oh my gosh so you got it Pulled out. All right, so we have our dipstick separated into two pieces. Uh, obviously, you'll notice that there is a hole. Uh, hopefully, you can see that in the top of the dipstick, and that's where the pin's going to go through and where the OEM pin came out. Um, if you decide to drill it out, uh, we supply a new pin. Hard to see, it's very small. Uh, the new pin can be uh, installed, but it is pretty tight and it's very uh, small, so it's hard to hold while you want to tap it in with a hammer. Basically, a little trick here is um, it has a slot down the middle. Um, grab a pair of needle nose and just kind of collapse the slot on like the first maybe eighth of an inch. Um, and it'll form kind of like a, a little bit of a taper. That taper will let you start the pin a lot easier. Uh, by hand or um, by just uh, gently tapping it with a hammer. Um, just be careful you don't scratch your nice anodized piece. So we have our uh, adapter, get me out of the way, uh, started. We've got the pin started and we have the, the set screw started. Now we're just going to, as you might guess, combine the two. Now the hole in the dipstick is for the pin, not the set screw. So. Basically push the dipstick all the way in. And tap the new pin. Just like that. You see the pins all the way in, but the dipstick and the dipstick, I should say, doesn't come out. You will notice the dipstick kind of rocks back and forth. And as you might have guessed, that's what the set screws for. So I'm gonna go grab the correct Allen uh, wrench, and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down. Hey, so this is Tom from the future, and uh, basically what I came to let you guys know is, it is very, 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 I don't, I didn't put this in, I didn't say this originally, but it's very, very important that you put some Loctite on the set screw. Uh, reason being is, set screw is below the O-ring, in the dipstick tube uh, and you don't want it to rattle out, fall into the oil pan. So I got some red Loctite here. Now I'm just gonna put the dipstick or the set screw in. Just like that. Same as before. Tighten that bad boy up. All right, back to the video. Dig into your hardware bag again. Find the threaded stud, M4. I currently don't have one that has a hex in it, so we are going to have a little pop-up here with the correct size. Basically, you want to thread that into the top of your adapter, and then you guessed it, take your dipstick handle, thread that onto the stud. At this point, uh, or at this step, using a little bit of Loctite wouldn't hurt. 
but just tighten them together like you would any other screw or bolt. And there you have it, your dipstick handle fully installed. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for the installation of the dipstick handle for your GT350. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to email us at sales at veris-engineering.com. And I know a lot of these parts were pretty small here, so if you guys have any uh, need for close-up pictures, be sure to check out that install manual as well. Uh, we should have some pretty detailed instructions and pictures on that also. So, until next time, we'll see you later.